What's going on YouTube, GSNow right here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about what iOS version you should be on depending on what iOS device you have if you want to jailbreak as soon as possible. And this video is mostly for the A12 and A13 devices so that you know what to do, but it also accounts for the next iPhone that will be released in a couple of days and also for the older ones. This video is brought to you by Anytrans and their contest where you can win a new iPhone 12 when it gets released. To qualify, all you have to do is to share your story behind the first iPhone you ever had and of course share it with the hashtag backup with any trends. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably know iOS 14.0.1 is currently the latest available and the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone SE 2020 are the latest iPhones available. Well not for very long. As you can see the Apple event comes in two days. It's October 13 in there. So we're going to get the brand new iPhone 12 unveiled at the Apple event. The previous event from the September 15 did not reveal any new iPhone but we do know about new iPads with the A14 chip. Now you can be damn sure that the new iPhone will have the A14 chip as well and it's not the same as the A13. So what if you want to buy that device and you want to jailbreak it or what if you want to jailbreak the iPhone SE, iPhone 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max and stuff like that. Well for the iPhone 12 when it gets released it will come with iOS 14 whatever, whatever is signed at that time possibly 14.2 so you're basically doomed at least for a couple of months. There is no way for you to jailbreak at that point at least for a couple of months. Now for the older devices like the iPhone iPhone SE 2020 and of course the iPhone 11 Pro, 11, 11 Pro Max, iPhone XR, XS and stuff like that, you will be able to jailbreak them once we get an exploit. There is one available from the ABC Research as you probably know which does work on A12 and A13 and they told me via DMs or direct messages that they are going to release it once Apple patches it but we don't know when that happens so for now I would definitely recommend it to stay on iOS 14.0 if you are already there or 14.0.1 one because the 14.0 and 14.0.1 are basically the same thing so you might as well just update to the 14.0.1 because it fixes a weird issue with connecting to wireless networks so iOS 14.0.1 is a safe bet if you are already on 14.0 however if you are on 13.7 or lower stay on 13.7 or lower do not update the 14 there will be an exploit release that we can use for the uncovered jailbreak on 13.7 and lower on 8.0 and A13 devices as well and of course on older devices as well. And that exploit will be released at Black Hat Europe 2020 by developer 08TC3WBB. I talked with them in direct messages, they told me they're going to give it the pound to own as well for updating the uncovered jailbreak so if you are indeed on an iPhone 11 Pro Max or an iPhone Tennis Max 11, Tennis and stuff like that, definitely wait on 13.7, 13.6.1, 13.6 .6 and 13.5.1. These are much better than the iOS. 14 or 14.0.1. Do keep in mind however that the iOS 14.2 is also in beta second and it will come soon. So once this drops do not update the iOS 14.2. It's much worse than 14.0.1 and it will likely patch even more vulnerabilities. iOS 14 is pretty hard to jailbreak as it is and many developers in our community complained about it. That's why CheckRain is not even supporting iOS 14 on all devices. The SEP has been hardened, the whole system has been hardened against the jailbreaks so things are not looking very very good for iOS 14. Do not update even further to destroy your chances. 14.0 and 14.0.1 are supported by this exploit in here by ABC Research so you might as well wait in there if you're already there. Now what about CheckRain? I'm getting a lot of questions whether CheckRain will ever support A12 and A13 devices. The answer is no. The CheckRain is based on a bootroom exploit, an exploit that cannot be patched that is only available on the A11 devices and lower. And with the iOS 14 even that is threatened because SEP has been hardened and of course it now needs a bypass before we can use CheckRain again. They managed to do one on the A9X and lower devices but not on A10 and newer for now. So stay away from iOS 14 even on CheckRain devices. Now the earliest we're going to get that exploit for the uncover to be updated on all devices on 13.7 and lower is December 7 through December 10. That's when the black hat happens and that's probably when this 
talk would take place. So I would definitely highly recommend you to avoid iOS 14.2 when it comes out and of course wait on 13.7 and lower. If you are already on 14.0, update the 14.0.1. It's okay, it's the same thing security wise, so you're not destroying your chances. Because the Apple security content mentions that 14.0.1 has no CVEs, so there have been no security fixes in 14.0.1 that you should worry about. But yeah, the old saying still holds true, do not update further, stay as low as possible. Now for those of you who are planning to get the new iPhone 12 after the event, unfortunately for you, jailbreaking will take probably months before you're going to see one, because there is no way for you to downgrade to a lower version and your device will probably come with 14.2. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, I hope this video helped, until the next time, peace out.